So, maraming salamat for coming today. We welcome you. And today, we also revisit as we share with you our vision of returning our focus on why mothers have been putting their trust in our clinic for the longest time, 70 years. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 70 solid years. Isn't that awesome? I know, right? So awesome, 70 years. But before anything else, let's call on someone who made all this possible. A man whose vision is what brings us all together today. So without further ado, a round of applause please for the President of Delgado Clinic, Dr. Oye Valgorias. Mas kami naman natin more and welcome. One more time please. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, hello. Welcome again to our hospital. Thank you for coming uh, for the launching of uh, the uh, Assist Delgado Memorial Hospital uh, Optimal Birth Outcome. Uh, it's a pregnancy workshop actually. So we're gonna be starting this uh, this coming uh, January 20. So I have a little uh, backgrounder for all of you uh, bloggers why we are doing this or why we are seeking your help in uh, in propagating this uh, uh, this optimal birth outcome uh, pregnancy workshop. So to begin, so. I think, I'm not sure how much aware you are, I think many of you are mothers as well, no? so, but our country, uh, do we know our country's maternal health care? You know? uh, if not, I'll give you some information, so that's our country. Uh, yearly, around 100 to 200 women are dying because of pregnancy. So that's 100 to 200 women per 100,000. Okay, so that's uh, uh, the status, this is since 2000, this data is as of 2015, okay? So, in fact, this is the progress that we've had uh, despite those data of uh, women dying 100 to 200 deaths uh, per 100,000 live births. So we have not made progress for the past 25 years as far as uh, pertaining to the Millennial Developmental Goals. So, uh, no progress at all. And uh, because of that, this is the result of it. Yearly, 368,000 preterm uh, births. Some of them make it, no? uh, uh, but this is death. No? Uh, a lot of preterms, like I said in my previous talks, no? so the top 10 mortality cause, uh, top 10 causes of premature deaths among Filipinos, three of those are actually happening in the newborn. Okay? The seven happening uh, among adults, of course, heart disease. But this is our data, 368,000 preterm births. So, in 1980, a concept was developed by both uh, scientists and uh, clinicians and doctors no, pertaining to the impacts of environment and lifestyle that, that a, a woman surrounds herself to, no, the, uh, what she exposes herself to, especially her pregnancy. So this is an organization uh, of doctors and scientists, uh, uh, developmental origins of health and disease. It started in Europe, no? now they are in Asia already. So a lot of research are ongoing right now as to the impacts of the things that the women, you know, pregnant women, how it impacts to the fetal development. So as you can see here, there's um, factors that uh, impacts how these genes are expressed and could lead to a short-term or long-term uh, impact on the health or outcome of the pregnancy of a woman. So, uh, long-term outcome there, so even uh, cardiometabolic conditions or even the cognitive ability of, of our children. So, all of these things have impact during, especially during the organogenesis uh, or the first three months. So, how nutrition, how exercise and sleep you know, impacts the development of the child or of the fetus. So, both long-term and short-term. So, this is another slide to show it. No? So, nutrition, like I said, stress, uh, sleep deprivation, or even movement or lack of movement or exercise uh, impacts either positively or negatively towards the developing fetus. 
In fact, we could actually identify a lot of upstream signs and symptoms uh, seen in a pregnant woman that will indicate that this possibility is here of postnatal outcomes uh, is likely to happen. You know? So it's not uh, just during adults that we do or predispose ourselves to developing diabetes, heart disease, or even cancer. It actually begins in the womb. You know? so, so there's a lot of upstream markers, in particular, for example, uh, unhealthy or suboptimal nutrition, particularly for a pregnant patient, especially even due, prior to pregnancy, prior to preconception, prior to conception, oops, sorry, or preconception. Preconception stage of a pregnant woman, uh, that's three to four months prior to the actual conception. Very important to nutritional status of, of a woman. No? So, because it, so these are the um, upstream signs and symptoms or effects of an imbalanced nutrition to a woman. No? So, it can manifest with gestational diabetes, it can manifest with uh, maternal hypertension, okay? and so many other conditions, or even anemia, of course, the most common. So, that is secondary to just optimal or suboptimal nutrition or poor nutrition of a woman, which later on, as I said, could have a short term and long term effects on the outcome of the pregnancy, okay? So, fetal development is impacted, leading to, uh, as I mentioned, cardiovascular or heart or neurologic and metabolic infant disorders. I'm sure many of you are also aware that uh, when it comes to neurologic, you know, we also have uh, an increasing incidence and prevalence of um, autism and other behavioral disorders among children. You know? In fact, in the latest training that I've had in, in the United States, uh, they're now seeing possibility that because one of the things that affects women is that level of toxins in her body you know, coming from personal items, for example, your makeup. You know. This contains a lot of chemicals, a lot of um, additives, or even into our food, like, like I said. So the, the sad thing right now is when a woman breastfeeds, you know, I know a lot of you are advocates of breastfeeding, but when a woman breastfeeds, you know, uh, this allows for these toxins that are retained in the body of a woman, normally stored in, in fat cells. No? But pregnancy, one of its impact is that you tend to lose weight. No? So when you're losing these fat cells, you're also releasing these toxins into your circulation or into that breast milk. No? Of course, the first two years of life of a child is very important in its optimal development. So, And when do you notice a child to be manifesting with autistic or behavioral disorders after two years, right? When you start noticing that they're not talking. You know? That is now an ongoing study. You know? so, but I'm not saying that breastfeeding is bad. What we're saying is that it's important for the condition of the woman's body to be optimal also to, to support that physiologic uh, condition. Okay? So, so our um, hospital, Optimal Birth Outcome Pregnancy Workshop will aim to uh, provide our patients, no, our pregnant patients, this multimodal intervention that targets specific gene environment relationships to provide individuals with optimal birth outcomes. Most especially, of course, our first-time moms. No? Of course, first-time moms, they are the ones with most questions no? or the most need because it's their first time. So. Uh, this is the, co the components of this uh, pregnancy workshop. So there'll be a lot. There's a doctor uh, who trained in the United States for, uh, that will be talking about nutrition, talking about uh, stress management, talking about movement and sleep, and of course, uh, biotransformation and elimination, how you can prepare your body 